welcome to my channel, my name is Anya and in today's video I want to do a full face of makeup using the stuff that is currently in my projects pan. I have my window open and the curtains drawn so that little light glare part there is just the sun or not actually sunny, it's overcast today which is why I wanted to have them open. And I have my window open so if you can hear any noises from the cars outside I apologise. I do also have a mirror in my lap here so that if I'm looking down whilst doing my makeup it's that. I haven't done a full face of makeup in a video in a while um, and I've been wanting to do it and I also haven't done any looks I think using predominantly Project Pan products. I am doing the Team Project Pan that Beauty News um, started this year which is a full face rolling Project Pan so I have something in almost every single category of makeup and when I use something up I can rotate something and so I have almost every category that I use um, from my project pan here. I had to supplement in, I think it's two products, and it's um, my white mixer, which I'm gonna be using a foundation that's a bit too dark, and this is my only white mixer, so I don't have that in the project, and then a brow gel. I think that's everything I wanted to say, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and then we're gonna get started. So, as my primer, I have this Rimmel Fix and Perfect. I have been using a lot of this, this was full, when I started it. And it's fine, it's not my favourite primer. I find it to be very nice and like moisturising and hydrating, but it doesn't provide enough sort of like smoothness on my skin over the areas where I have texture. So I don't love it. I have a lot of Rimmel products currently in my project and also a fair amount of them in here because I have a lot of them. Uh, and it's because I like Rimmel. I find the products to be generally fairly well, fairly well, fairly nice to use and I like them and I bought a lot of them before I went cruelty free but Rimmel isn't cruelty free so that means I have a lot that I want to finish before they go off. Then comes the fun mixy part. I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I have the shade 100 Ivory which is too dark for me. I love the undertone of this though because it has a neutral undertone that works really well. I'm gonna pump out a lot. I always pump out more than I think I'm going to need because when I mix products to make them lighter it's easier to mix too much than halfway through realising you don't have enough and then having to mix another batch and the colours never turn out the same so I always mix more than I think I'm going to need. I also find that with this I actually do use a fair amount of it when I use it. Three pumps is definitely probably enough I think that's a much better match. What I do is I just wipe whatever is on my finger that I used to mix with onto my face. And that's just what I like doing. And just sort of spreading it a little bit. I find that makes it easier to blend. And then I grab my sponge. I'm using a Real Techniques one. And then I just press the product into the skin. And when everything has gotten an even layer, I then go in and add more where I feel like I need it. I feel like I got light, medium coverage today, and I have a couple of areas where I just want a bit more. I'm not really looking for full coverage today, so I'm going to stop there for now. I'm then going to go in with my bronzer and what I do with this is I have Fenty Amber in the matchsticks and then I have this Rimmel Insta Duo contour stick which has a bronzer and this bronzer is very warm and amber is very cool, amber is too cool so what I do is I draw amber onto the back of my hand to warm it up because I can't apply that directly from my face. I will draw on a piece of that and then I will take the bronzer and literally draw right on top because I want, I want to mix the two together. The Rimmel one is also much thinner and more emollient in consistency. So I just draw on a fair amount of that. Again with this I also end up mixing more than I need. Uh, that's fine. I also tend to take a little bit of the highlighter in here just to give it a bit of glow and then I will just go in with my finger and blend the colour together making sure that it is 
a tone that I am happy with. And I usually do just a test patch where I apply a little bit. I, I do still have the foundation on my other hand, so I'm trying not to just get it everywhere. I then take the one of the sides of the sponge that I haven't used and I won't be using for concealer. Just rubber that into and then I usually just go on my cheeks. I'm gonna have to just angle my mirror a bit here. And I apply that like I would a blush or a bronzer, so high on the cheek on the cheekbone into the temples and I'm also going to drag it across the nose but I like starting out here and then blending and instead of starting at like the apples because I that definitely ends up looking too much and then I just grab whatever is left on my hand and I will go a little bit across the forehead but also across the nose and then in the end when there's like nothing left I just take that across the chin so that it doesn't end up looking too bright in comparison because I just want it to look like I've spent some time in the sun without it being too orange and mixing the two colours together gives me that. I'm then going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I use Collection Lasting Perfection in the shade Fair. I have come to the realisation that I don't love this. I find that it ends up oxidising a little bit and I don't really love how it sits on the skin. It ends up looking quite dry. But I'm just also putting that on any of the areas around my face where I want a bit more coverage. And then instead of using that side I just flip to that side and blend that in. And I'm trying not to bring this concealer too far down, like onto the cheekbones or onto the nose. I do still want that bronzer to be where I put it. And if there are any areas where I feel like I ended up going a little bit low, I just flip to the side that held the bronzer and go back over. I do like that. I am going to powder just just under my eyes. But I'm first going to take off the foundation. The reason I leave the foundation on my hand um, until I'm done with all of the complexion products is in case I find I need more coverage anywhere I can just dip into that instead of having to essentially blend a new batch. The powder I'm going to be using to set just certain parts of my face. I'm going to set just underneath my eyes. I'm using the Makeup Mecca Luxury HD Setting Powder in Angel Pink. It has a slight pink tint but I use very little and I don't notice that pink tint. I'm going to be setting under my eyes, the sides of my nose and also around my mouth. And I use this, this is a essential crease brush from Real Techniques. It's small, it's fluffy and it, it allows me to put on a little bit of powder without overdoing it. And it allows me to do it very precisely so I'm not gonna end up with powder everywhere because I don't want that today. I do start by tapping my under eyes to get rid of the creases, everything will settle under my eyes and to make that not as apparent when I powder I will tap that away with my finger that also just removes any excess product and then I set exactly where my eyes actually crease and a little bit around that but not the entire under eye area And when I have precision powdered, I take a large brush and powder underneath my jawline. And a little bit on my jawline, which is where I tend to rest my hands. And I don't really want the product to come off. So I want to leave my cheeks with that glow that it has. I have brought a blush and a highlighter with me, but they are powders. And I don't think I am going to use them. I am going to apply the highlighter from the Rimmel Insta Duo Stick at the end. But I'm going to 
jump in and do my eyes now so I'm going to see it even further. I'm not going to do my eyebrows yet. I have been having a lot of hand pain recently so I'm going to do my eyes first to see what my hands can handle because I want to be gentle on, on them today and I might just end up putting brow gel through my brows. We will see but I'm going to do a very quick and easy eye look. I don't have full coverage, you can see the redness coming through on my nose and it's not sitting the best on my nose. It is looking a little bit dry but I have issues with dryness there at the moment so it's just going to have to be. I'm going to try to keep my head as still as possible to not jump in and out of frame too much. The eyeshadow I'm going to be doing is a, I'm going to start it as a one shadow look using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I'm going to be using this brown shade all over my lid and into my crease and then I'm going to see if I want any bit of brightness and I'm going to use either the top shade here which is a light gold there or I'm going to use the powder highlighter that I brought because that is shinier. What I do is I grab a brush, this is the base shadow brush from Real Techniques. So on a base shadow brush from Real Techniques I'm just going to pick up the product on the tip and I'm going to work around the edges first. I just remembered I forgot to put eye primer on, that's fine, we're gonna survive. I had actually brought eye primer with me and I've been using the Wonder 2 Prime and Behold. It's really nice, it does have like an iridescent shine to it which I'm not loving. I am not going anywhere so I don't really need this look to stay on for an entire day and I don't have all that many issues with creasing anyway. What I'm doing... If the motorcycle outside can stop. What I'm doing is picking up product on the outer bristles of the brush, so I'm literally dipping it straight in, and then I'm placing that around the edge so that I can get a border for my look, and I then blend. The edge is probably going to look a bit messy, but I like that with this. It has some warmth to it that ends up blending into the colours that I have on my own eyelid which are a bit of like a blue tone. So it ends up looking messier than it is but it is fine. And I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more. And I like blending colours almost entirely up to the brow but that's just me. And if I want a cleaner blend you can bring in a second brush. I just wipe the product off my brush and then I'm just going in around the edge and blending. I then take my finger and put it all over the lid. I'm just going to go back in and buff the edge and I can hear a long wire coming so I'm going to have to Stuck out until that goes away. That ended up much more dramatic than I planned. I think I'm going to have to pull a little bit of that colour underneath on the lower lash line using the same brush and pressing that, starting on the outer corner and sweeping it inwards. I really like how that frames the eye and on camera this colour also makes my blue, the blue in my eyes pop really well. I have grabbed the highlighter which is from Makeup Maka, it's in Illuminate Me and it ends up, it's like a swirly pattern but it ends up looking like a gold. I'm going to put this on my inner corner, just brighten it up a little bit. I also feel like adding just the touch right there. And I just blend that with my finger so it just adds a little bit of brightness just in the centre of the lid. My hands don't feel well enough to do brows today. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So I'm just going to put brow gel through them. I, I can't do a brow pencil today. I have enough issues holding onto the brushes and my brow pencil is smaller. 
This is the Makeup Mecca Easy Peasy Brow Gel in Natural. And I'm just going to fluff them up. This has a little bit of tint, but not enough so that it tints those hairs that are invisible for me. And in my brows, I have a fair amount of those. And I have a feeling it's not, it doesn't hold enough on this brow either to, um, to hold them up. If I brush them up, so I'm going to have to brush these a little bit sideways. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get them. I'm going to put some mascara on and I will be right back. And that is quickly how they look with mascara. It's not my best work, I'm having some issues with my lashes, my lash colour. And apparently this, this is the Isadora Build Up Mascara Extra Volume, it's a waterproof one. I like it a lot, but I'm having issues with my lash colours so my lashes are looking a little bit clumpier than normal. I'm going to do my lips before I eventually return to the face. And I think the lawnmower has gotten even closer, I'm sorry you can hear it in the background. I can't really take a break to film at a later time. So I'm going to line my lips with Makeup Mecca Lip Liner 1 point in number 9. It's a pinky tone red. And then I'm going to put the Flower Beauty Lip Butter in Cherry Chiffon, I think, on top. I really regret picking a lip liner because that was more difficult than I imagined. And because I'm me, I ended up messing up a little bit, so I, I pretty much always drag my fingers across the edge to diffuse a little bit and also clean up any mess. And then I'm just going to rub the liner in because I don't want it to be super bright. messier than I had hoped but I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to do today. I am not going to add any additional highlighter. I quite like the skin how it looks right now. I am going to spritz this Rimmel Insta Fix and Go setting spray on my face. And I spray a lot of this on. I really like it. I like the Mister. I'm not sure if it's going to show very well. It's kind of direct, but it diffuses into a large cloud, which is why I hold it like a fair amount of distance away. But I really like that. It's a very simple makeup look, and it's one of my go-tos. I really like pairing a red lip with a bronzy eye look. I think it is simple, it's classic, and it looks nice on, I think, everyone, and it works with everything. I mean, I'm going to be in pyjamas all day, not doing anything, but, you know, it's fun to play around with makeup and just feel nice. For a day. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are doing your project pan at the moment, tell me what you're doing and how you're going with it. Are you happy with your progress? Not happy? I've struggled in the last couple of months because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I've been dealing with a lot of pain, hot weather, fatigue, and I just don't have the energy to put makeup on. But I'm getting back to it and I'm really enjoying the process of just putting it on and feeling myself really really liking how it looks and experimenting um, I hope you enjoyed the look and I will see you again soon bye